What's up, Res Life students, and welcome back to another 40 days of prayer. And we're nearing the end, and today is Good Friday. And as Christians, we recognize Good Friday as that day of remembrance of Jesus' crucifixion and death. So what's good about that? Well, if we didn't have Good Friday, Jesus would have never had that complete understanding of what it meant to be human. If we didn't have Good Friday, we would have never fully been forgiven for our sins. If we didn't have Good Friday, we would have never had the resurrection on Easter Sunday to look forward to. If we didn't have Good Friday, we would have never really understood the, the love that people had for Jesus, like Mary Magdalene and Mary, the mother of James, who are consistently sitting at the foot of the cross during the entire crucifixion and death of Jesus. I encourage you today, spend some time reading Mark 15, 21 through 47. Sit in that text and that story. And today, I encourage you to be thankful for Good Friday, that story of Jesus' crucifixion and death. Jesus did this for us. So before we can celebrate the, the resurrection on Easter Sunday, let's sit in what Jesus is teaching us on Good Friday. And remember that price that, that Jesus was willing to pay by sacrificing his life on the cross so that we could have life eternally with Jesus. So let's be thankful for that, for that act of love that Jesus gives us. Let's pray today. God, by your actions on the cross, we are forgiven for our sins and we get to live eternally. So thank you for that. May we sit in the crucifixion and death of you and what that means for us. And God, continue to prepare our hearts for the resurrection. And that starts with this. At this point of the story, God, continue to shape our hearts and speak to us. What do we need to hear in that story today? God, thank you for your love and grace and mercy on our hearts. In your son's name we pray. Amen.